Hi everyone, this is Stacy, and this is a video demonstration of how to complete an expense report in the Paylocity mobile app. So first things first, if you have not downloaded the app, you will go to your app store and find Paylocity mobile to download that. This is the iPhone version. I'm sure the Android is either very similar or exactly the same as this. Once you download it, you will log in using the same credentials that you use for the website. So the company ID, username, password, that's all the same. When you're logged in, this is the menu that you will see. And for an expense report reimbursement, I'm going to select expense. Then I'm going to select add report in the top right and my new report screen will populate. Just like on the website, you have to enter a title and a business purpose. So I'm going to tap required here in the title section and type that in, save that. Business purpose. This screen kind of threw me off a little bit when I first did this because I thought it wasn't doing anything. You actually have to tap into the blank white space and your cursor and your keyboard should pop up and you can type in your business purpose. Leave your cost center at default. Don't change that unless you're working across different departments, which most people aren't. So the majority of you will just leave that at default. You can add a comment if you want. You will see that, your supervisor will see that, I will have access to that as well. So if you want to make a specific comment on this particular report, you can add that. And then you're going to select Add Expense. It gives you a few options here at the bottom. You can add an existing expense if you already have it in the system. You can create a new expense or you can cancel to go back to the previous screen. We are going to create a new expense today. For the dollar amount, I'm just going to tap where the zeros are here, and I'm going to enter the amount of the expense report. I can also take a photo of any receipts by tapping the photo icon here on the left, and it gives me a couple of options. We are going to take a new photo of a receipt, and that's going to let me decide whether I need to retake it or use it. I'm going to go ahead and use that one. Every expense should have a receipt attached to it unless it is mileage. So if you're reporting mileage, you don't have a receipt, that's okay. Anything else you need to submit uh, documentation with that. All right, so now I've got my receipt image here on the top left. I've got the amount of that expense. I have to put in a title for this. So I'm going to type that in. The transaction date is required. The category is required. So you click that and it's going to give you your options. And this is going to go under meals. Payment method is always going to be cash. You will not change that. And then I can add a note if I would like to. Just tap there and the keyboard will pop up. And I can save that. And as once everything's in there, I'm just going to click save here at the top right. And now that expense has been saved. The expense is added to the expense report at that time. So I've not submitted anything. I've just simply added that particular expense to my report. If I have multiple expenses, I can put them all in one report. So if there are other receipts I have or if there's mileage I need to record, I can click add expense and go through the same process with that. Once I have everything in there, I'm going to save my report. It's going to give me a few options here at the bottom. I can cancel it to go back to the previous page. I can save it for later if I have things I still want to add to it or take away. I can save it. If I save it for later, that does not send it over for payroll processing. So if you click save for later, just know it's not going to be processed through payroll. If you're ready to submit it for payroll reimbursement, you're going to select Save and Submit. And then it's going to send your supervisor a notification. They will know that that expense report is in there and they can go in and review and approve it and process that through payroll. So we're going to click Save and Submit. It's going to take a moment to update here. And once that is submitted, I'm going to see a little yellow tag here that tells me it's submitted and then my supervisor can go in, approve that, and I'm going to get that reimbursement on my next paycheck. 